Uh, T10.8, a Census Bureau report on the income of Americans says that with 90% confidence, the median income of all U.S. households in a recent year was $57,005, with a margin of error of $742. Which of the following is the most appropriate conclusion? All right, uh, choice A. 90% <clears throat> uh, of all households had incomes in the interval... Okay, so just based off of the first answer choice, I can kind of tell that this question is, I think, asking us to interpret the confidence level. <clears throat> okay, so remember that, um, you know, when you take many samples, all right, for each sample, you'll get a point estimate, which is this dot, and then with the margin of error, right, it's represented by these segments, you get the whole interval. Okay, and so we can get many of these intervals Right, we can just take a bunch of samples, and for every sample, we create an interval. All right, and the idea is that um, in the long run, right, about 90% of these intervals should capture the true value, which is represented by this green line. Okay. So the thing that we're trying to estimate in this question is the median income of all U.S. households, right? That's the true value we're trying to estimate, <clears throat> um, and we're going to try to do it with 90% confidence intervals, all right? So the way you want to think about this picture is that in the long run, 90% of these intervals will capture the true value, okay? So now I'm going to go read through all the choices and see if I can find one that kind of sort of sounds like that. All right, so A, um, didn't do it. Uh, B, we can be sure that the median income for all households in the country lies in the interval $57,005 plus or minus 742, right? Um, we cannot be sure about it because sometimes we'll get an interval that doesn't capture the true value. In fact, that should happen about 10% of the time, right? 100 minus 90. <clears throat> okay. All right, so B's out. Uh, C, 90% of the households in the sample interviewed by the Census Bureau had incomes in the interval. Okay, so that's not really sounding like what we're looking for. <clears throat> uh, the Census Bureau got the result, $57,005, plus or minus 742, using a method that will capture the true median income 90% of the time when used repeatedly. All right, good. So 90% of the time used repeatedly capture the true value, right? That's our winner, okay? Uh, let's just read E for, for kicks. 90% uh, of all possible samples of this same size would result in a sample median that falls within the interval. Yeah, so this one never talks about capturing the true value, so that's not it. 